Hello XDA users, I am back. Um, sorry about my three month absence, but I have really, first of all, I didn't really have a webcam um, in that time because I lost it, but I magically found it again after moving. Um, and I did move to a new location, so you know, it was in moving and losing webcam, I really haven't had the time to um, make videos. Uh, for a while there, I was using a regular camera that I had, but I had lost that as well. Um, I'm not very good at managing my stuff, but thankfully I didn't lose my cell phone. So today I am here um, with the ROM that I started off with, um, Royal Panache. This is a new version. This is from 6.17, um, June 17th. No, it's not really, no, it's uh, kind of really past June, but I figured I would start with this one because it's the one that I was currently using. And, <coughs> excuse me, that's how I would make the video today. So, here we are. Um, messing with the settings on my webcam a little bit here and managed to um, get it to actually focus on an object that close. That's a pretty cool um, picture right there. We got, let me clean off the screen a little bit here. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and make a second account, just to let you guys know, I'm going to make a second account called Android Mods. And what I'm basically going to do is show you guys little mods that I do to my phone. <coughs> and customizing it and adding features and stuff like that. Surely videos you can find elsewhere, but I figured, you know, I have I at least had quite the audience. Don't know if I still got it. But um yeah. So let's get started here. This ooh, glitch. Nice. You guys start uh this is the first time this happened to me. Um looks like the display driver is kind of bugged out here. Um screen's completely upside down, let's see happens. Alright, there we go. Um, minor glitch. That was weird. So that's one thing about this ROM that you might want to look out for is just random screen upside downness. But um, this ROM is customized. I have worked on it for a little bit now. Um, got comfortable with it, installed all my stuff, um, background, set up my home screen, everything like that. So here we are. Not much visually different than the other version that I did a review on. Um, like I said, I did get comfortable with this ROM. I did set up everything already to how I use it. So, just to give you a look at what this ROM is like, you know, while you're using it, here's my hand, I'm using the phone. Um, you open up the menu, it's really smooth. That's one thing I really always like about Royal Panache, is the smoothness of the ROM, with it being sense and all. It still maintains a nice smoothness as they're using it. Um, you know, messaging opens fine. Um, got the new market. The new market doesn't, I, it hasn't ever automatically installed for me when I was doing it, but um, I went ahead and on the forum and, you know, downloaded the, uh, the new market, but in case you haven't checked it out yet, you might want to. It's really cool. Really, 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 really reminds me of Windows Phone 7. <laughs> Um, if you've ever seen it in use, this is the epiphany of Windows 7 featured in Android um, between the uh, sliding up and down with the big icons and the squares stacked next to each other. This really does mimic Windows 7, Windows Phone 7. Um, you know, as you're browsing around, you know, look, like, <laughs> that's Windows Phone 7 right there. But still looks nice. Don't know how they didn't get in trouble for that. But um, as you can see, I love my Linux. Got my little Linux background going on there. Um, this is the pretty much the default second page. So is this. So is that. I really don't change the other pages. I only change the home page because that's all I really ever look at. Um, you know, just just look at how smooth the ROM is, though. I just really love how smooth it is compared to other Sense ROMs. Um, Virtuous, the Virtuous series, I really do like. Um, but the only thing is, is that it, they really do lag sometimes, and the, the unlocking the phone is really what annoys me sometimes. And it's really not those ROMs, it's really just the, uh, Sense 3.0, how it swivels around. But this doesn't have that, of course. You know, the snippy HTC unlock, which I really always love, because the default Android unlock is sometimes kind of slow. So you unlock, and right there's your home screen. Um, not much else to say, like, in the first video, because the ROM is just... Really, I, I don't really have any issues to point out with you guys. Pretty self-explanatory, just so you can see it. Um, I know people from before wanted to see a booting of the ROM, so let's go ahead and give that a try. Here's the power down menu. 
um, restart. Let's do a normal restart. Just had a lot of stuff open. There we go. That is a custom boot up screen. Um, there's a guide on how to do that inside the forums, inside the apps and theme section. Really easy to do. I did that. I actually did this from the terminal emulator in the phone. Really easy. Um, so. Alright, here's the startup screen. It's an Apple Killer startup screen. I think it's kind of funny. Because I really do hate Apple. Doesn't have any sound, but you get the idea. Hmm. Well, Apple Killer for you for anybody that's a really big Android or Linux enthusiast. So, I'm just taking a little bit longer than normal to start up. Alright, there we go. And it is booted up. And pretty, you know, it's not a signature startup, super like super fast, but it is a pretty snippy startup compared to say the iPhone, wink wink, um, which takes forever. Also, Blackberries do tend to take forever to start up. So that's one thing I like about Android, and this ROM is just pretty fast. So this is me signing out. Um, if you have any further requests or any questions about the ROM, I'll be more than happy to answer. But I'm going to go ahead and just keep flashing ROMs and making videos as I go until I run out of um, time to do that. Alright, I'll see you guys later.